Well, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah, and we're back out at the villa because we're going to be adding uh, some additions, horse stable, and a barn for the winery. So let's go. And if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing. It boosts my ego. It is greatly appreciated. Yes, it is. So, in the last episode, we did a we did a walkthrough of the completed area and made some changes. Mm. Cool. <laughs> For anybody that doesn't know how the oven works, <laughs> real quickly. Um, you need, you need a, a fuel and we're going to need our raw meat. You right click on the oven, you put your fuel in, you put your meat in, the oven starts up. Do, 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 do. And you play chef. Look at that. Very nice. And now you have cooked meat. And then the oven will wind down. Take your meat. Nothing like cold. Nothing like fresh hot chicken. And then we put the rest in the refrigerator. Which also has. Right click on it. Inventory. That's where you make stuff. You're done. <laughs> so. Yeah. That's how that works. So, um, yeah, today is the first day in Chicago. We've actually hit temperatures of 30 degrees out, which is, which is very nice. I put lights behind this decorative arch and glassway, and I opened up the stairway to make it much easier to get to the second floor, and I took out the fireplace, so it looks a lot better. So you come down here... And we have dual doors to get into the properly done garage. Yeah. And so we made, we made, um, more garage, garage doors and we have horsies and they are partitioned off so they can't, you know, they were damaging the Porsche. Now I have to go in and uh, I have to see if there's a way I did it before on the, uh, the cows to make them less, um, they, they wouldn't drown. So I put in a water trough, but they keep coming into the water trough and drowning. And they love playing in the water. And now they're, they are, um, they won't leave me alone. They do breed. So if you get the hearts going on them, and you come back later, you will see a baby pony. And for some reason, I have dropped. There, look at that. There's a baby pony. My little pony. My little pony. And he's fully healthy. There. There you go. So the additions to the... Um, made this into a garage door. And... These are portacollis bars. And they're in the castle mod. So if you're running Dream Builder, um, they're in there. Or you can just go to the castle mod. So what I've done is I've put this kind of um, panel above it to give it the impression that the door slides. And if you right click on the bottom of the door, the door opens. Right click again, door closes. Unfortunately, I haven't figured out if I can have two side by side to have them split, but that works. Now, you see here, there's this little panel that I've put in. If I take that panel out, these doors will go all the way until they hit a hard object. So you can have them open all the way. And I have another panel over here, which somehow turned, which looks kind of goofy. Uh, there. 
There we go. So that's how these work. These are portocollis bars. And you use them in castles, whatever. I use them here to keep the horsies in because they will get out. And they have nice animation to them and they look really, really cool. So that's the updated um, horse stable. And then back here, because it did, it did look goofy having, um, having only two wide stair, but three wide windows. So now this looks more uniform. Plus I could hang a lantern and a chain in the middle and make everything symmetrical. So that, that takes care of that. So what we have here is we have this little pathway leading up to where the barn is going to be. And I've already cleared the area and leveled it. And these are cool. So when I, when I, I did a mass clearing using world edit, these were left and I like them. They look like uh, tree stumps, obviously. So what we are going to do is we are going to mimic this building here and the, the perfect dimension. So it's 13 by 22. So we're going to come over here. And I had something laid out because I want to go on this line here. We're going to take it all the way to here. Hmm. Well, you know what? I can, I can, yeah, I want it right here. So. We are going to do a 13, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because I want room for a parking lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, look at that. 13. And we are going to build this the easy way. So if you have world at it, Knock yourself out. So we are going to stack this by 22. Stack 22. Look direction. Perfect. So this out here is going to be the driveway. And I extended the driveway from the road. Which will work out perfect. So. Then what we shall do. Is get rid of our region here and start placing some blocks. So what, what this is going to do, and first what I, I'm going to do this the easy lazy way, because I already have a idea of what, of what I want. And I might have to continue further, but we, we shall see. So, come on, let's do this the easy way. Well, that was sort of easy. <laughs> so how's everybody else doing? Everybody's keeping warm, safe, um, busy. Uh, kids just went back to school. After the very long Christmas New Year's break. So now what we're, we're, oh, I hate when I do that. Now what we're going to do, we're going to see, now this is, we have to uh, go over here. Because this, mm, that's a floor. Cool. Cool. So one, two, uh, you know, I had this all planned out. So our peak is here. So it's one, two, three. It's not what I wanted. I want, I want the roof line. So there's our roof line or five. Hmm. Something doesn't seem right. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we want six high. Now it doesn't matter. We can go, we can go, um, because this is going to be a barn, we can go 10 high. So let's put that in here. And we are going to do world edit again. One, come over here, two. We're going to look straight up. And we are going to stack this 10 high. Because why not? That was interesting. And there's another form of fence that we're going to use. So here's our center line. Very nice. Now, since we already know, hmm, that might be a little too tall. Reset our region. That's a little too tall. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down four. We're going to get rid of those. What just blew up? Huh. I have no idea what just blew up. However, there was a question in the, um, okay, air. We're going to get rid of those and go down. We're going to build this building real quick because the whole part of it is going to be what is it, what it does. So now, come on. And I want, like I said, I, I really like the layout of the building. I like the style. So we're going to come up. And it's going to meet. At the center. Well, hopefully. Look at that. Cool. So what we can do is for the life of me, I cannot remember how many we're going to need to know. So real quickly here, we're going to go get a roof. in our center. I cannot figure out what blew up. Um, one of the questions in the, what is that? Oh, I know what that was in, in, in preparing for well, the robot's gone. In preparing for the um, uh, <laughs> the video, one of the questions was um, asked if the in uh, uh, I'm losing my train of thought here. In in the video of my un, my uh, factory, there is a uh, armor suit part of the vehicles mod and the uh, person wanted to know if it shot, if it fired. And yes, it does. So I was playing with it and those are the ordinances. Look at how perfect that was. Those are the ordinances that I had fired, but they didn't go off. And for whatever reason, they went off now. And I had shut down, rebooted the computer because before I record a video, I always, um, 
you know, reboot to just to clear everything out because it was starting to get laggy. All right, so we're going to put a roof on this thing and then we're going to detail it. So part of the pro part of the hard part is obviously laying these these roofs. I really do like this style of roof. And I don't know whether it's Italian or Spanish or um, what whatever building style that of this came from in architecture. And I have looked. And you see this even in um, like country and farmhouses and stuff like that. It kind of it kind of just works. Now this is where it gets interesting. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, so we have twenty. Now what we're going to do is take this and very carefully line it up, come up here, and I am going to select position two here. Cool, it only grabs that. So now we're going to stack this 20. And this world edit comes really, really in hand. Perfect. Look at that. Just exactly what I wanted. And, you know, if you try building everything, everything block by block, sometimes it can get a little um, monotonous. Now something happened. Oh, I know what it is. Because usually what I do is I will take this, and we're going to come down. We're going to do it to all four sides because this is going to also lend to the detailing of the outside because I'm not going to mimic the windows per se on both sides. I do want them though, because, and I'm gonna have to cover that up with like dirt or grass, but we're gonna do that real quickly here. Cool, that looks really cool. And, all right. So right in here, because we're gonna use a door, obviously, and <laughs> we're gonna put, in, I forgot about this, this one here. Um, see, they do that if you don't do this. So our barn, our shell is done. Now the magic comes in with the, yeah, I did something differently, but that's okay. I think I know what it was, but it doesn't matter. I like it. I like the... See, there we go. That's what that's what was throwing it off. And it, it just, I'm a slow builder. So, you know, this, this might be a long video. It's obviously gonna be over um, the normal 20 minutes, but I don't wanna get back to you know, I, I have some videos that are an hour and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is here is we're going to put the, we're going to do the outline of the building. Now there's going to be some like parking out here, some very rudimentary parking. And let's see what we can do here. There's going to, how do I want to do this? And if even um, because of the one side faces, there
I wanted to have a little hospitality thing come off. But for the sake of the video, what we're going to do is we are going to add one of the exterior one of the exterior walls here. So we have a we have an opening of 3, like a barn door. And we have 1 2 3. So if we go back into our inventory and uh, we look for this is also from the castle mod from the and there's the uh, portacollis which is really really cool we are going to look at another form of gate gate with door handle all right we need to clear some inventory here obviously all right the roof is done so we have here door with hinge gate door Gate door edge. I want to try something with that. And gate door handle. So we need to put, we need to see how this is going to lay. All right, obviously it does that. So we want this row here. So we are going to do this. We are going to put some helper blocks. We are four high. Cool. Then we are going to put our, I want to see what happens when I put a door edge here. Gate door, door edge. Kind of don't like the way that looks. But this is our gate door. No. Gate door would handle. Oh my gosh, that looked, that looked horrid. You don't need a handle. Um, now, if I'm correct, we right click on the bottom of this door, it's going to open. It opened the wrong way. And obviously the gate door edge didn't matter. Okay, so that um, it's still going to work because we put this little block in here, right click on the bottom, and we're going to need to fix the one thing. So we have our huge door, and there's going to be, there's going to be, a, um, I'm going to carry all the braces and everything else in here, so it's going to look really, really cool, and just because... Can't see anything. If it, gets, if it gets dark out, so we have a we have three, and what we're gonna do is to fix this. One, two, three. So now it'll stop. It stops right there. Very cool. Now we'll close it. So obviously. We need our door hinge here, and then we need our gate door here. That's a fine looking gate. Please open. There we go. And we only have it, we only have it opening to there, which is fine. So we can hide this, we can mask this by using um, any block that you put there will work. So right now we are just going to, well, for the sake of, I don't know, for the, there, we'll put a light there and we'll put a light on the other side. That should do it. And it should stop. Perfect. Exactly what we want. So now we have a, we have a huge door. Now to make this look realistic, what I've done is I've taken this panel that I cut from concrete block in my um, table or circular saw. Perfect. 
and I'm just rotating it, right-clicking. So the door slides this way. And we're going to be one, two, three. So the door, the door stops there. Cool. That's exactly what we want. So now when we open the door, it stops. And we can we can make it go all the way. I mean it's it's no um that closes it. This opens it so you get you get the full full use of the door. It's a very, very good looking door. All right, so we have a door in. And then we're going to above here where I decide where we're gonna put the um there's going to be stained glass. So now this part of the building, I'm going to have, I'm going to do the, I'm going to carry the arches because we need to break up the monotony of the brick. And then off the back here, there's going to be some more stained glass. So what's going to be in here? You ask, it's going to be supplies that, and I'm going to reuse that door. It's going to be supplies that um i think it's from the drinks mod yep here it is we have a silo for liquid we have a, a barrel for liquid and a juice press and because what i'm going to do is i'm going to put uh we're going to plant some grapes we're going to have a, a juice press and then we're going to have a place to barrel it and we're going to use some silo and basically you can add liquid um, after you press the juice four fruits to a glass eight fruits to a bottle 16 fruits to a bucket so you put the fruit in here you put the container in here the bucket it makes it and then you pour the barrel is empty right now you add your liquid and then if that's not enough, but wait, there's more. <laughs> yes, we need a barrel. Yes, we do. A, a barrel. Now, there's barrel liquid, and we need barrel closed, and we need one of those. So we are going to make, we are going to turn this into a proper, um, like a place to make juices. I don't know what this one is. Why is that? Let's see what happens when I turn it. Cool. And you right click on it and nothing happens. Hmm. Nevertheless, I'm going to figure that out. There's going to be a roof on here and there's going to be an upstairs area. And what I wanted to do is I want to put a garage door over here and only one. And the, the other two doors are going to be decorative. So that'll work for that. Because we need a place to park the tractor. Yes, we do. And you got to see this. There was no sound on it. Even though I looked at the mod and the mod did have it. Watch what happens when it drives. What is going on with those wheels? Seriously. That is messed up. That is really, I'm sorry, but that, that's, that's messed up, but it's a cool tractor and it fits our, it fits our little barn here. So I'm, I am going to, um, beautify this and, and, and the next episode we'll be able to see it, but that's how these portacollis doors work and these other doors to let us in and it, that looks like one of those sliding doors that you'd see in a barn with the with the slider on top. And I'm going to make that so it looks more realistic, like it's actually hanging on. So we'll close that up because we don't want any animals in here. And real quickly, 
we come around to the front here and this path will be extended and we have our horsies and our baby horsey and he grew up it looks like cool let's go in yeah you guys keep getting out even if you tame them they get out and they don't come back and they seem to require a lot of um he should be oh i'm hitting him with a brick that's great <laughs> now we have five horses we only had three they've been dizzy so that looks really really good and i don't want to let the horses out but so i'm just going to sneak out and come in here and now we now we have a proper garage and that, that's my spruce wood with an iron iron door, so that separates the horses. And we come over here, and this area here that I didn't know what I was going to do with, it is now a new entrance. So I clean that up. I took the um, chimney off. It, it, it doesn't need a fireplace for that one. This is a desert. It's always warm. So that looks really cool. Now, over here... I'm going to extend, I have my driveway coming in here. I have not chosen what I want for a material because I don't want to use concrete. I, I'm really not, there's nothing wrong with the way that, that the concrete looks. However, you can only use concrete so many times. So what we're going to do here is extend this real quickly. And this turned out really, really cool. To finish the video, I'm going to um, take you on a little... Oh, that didn't make any sense. Now did it. Oh, I see what I did. I see what I did here. Cool. So we are going to extend this out real quickly just to see how this looks. And that's the beauty of this game because everything is, is changeable. Even if you lay it, you know, it, it's not like in real life where it is um, permanent. We're going to have to, we have to go all the way to there. Wow. Hmm. I guess we will. As the sun goes down on it, oh, I went too far. Actually, I didn't. Yeah. So what, what's going to happen with here is we're going to mate it up with our garage. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Without upsetting the horsies. Perfect. So this is this is actually going to give us a idea of what we want. And then I'm going to mate it up with with the front door here. I should have thought a little more, uh, I should have put a little more thought into what I want to use for materials. But I got into a fit of inspiration. I was looking at what, what the next build was going to be. 
Okay, so this is our driveway. It mates up with our with our garage here. Let's give it a little bit more. Get out of there. Definition. Because the the brick, although the brick looks real cool. And I thought about carrying the brick all the way out, but the brick it's getting it's getting a little bit too monotonous. It would be too busy overpowering the area. So that looks good. And I actually might carry this stone tile out to the last one like it was. So we have our horsies, we have our horse stable, and look, now we're missing two horse. We're missing one horse. One horse left us somehow. So that that's how this looks. So we come over here. And I still have a lot more to do with the front and side area here. And I planted some uh, birch trees because I really like the way those look. Those are those uh, like grayish color trees. They are huge. So that looks really cool in this, uh, in this atmosphere. Um, what I ended up doing is I came over here. I flattened all this area out. And up here is going to be the grapevines and the apple trees. I have a little transition down. Here's our barn. And then we come all the way out here. It's a long drive. And it meets up to the main road. Which all this was filled in. All the roadway. Except for that tree I just ran into. All this area here was uh, done to give like a, a ditch. And it goes over into, there's the um, forest house. So it's all connected up. Very nice. Oh. There he is. Hmm. <laughs> so... While we're here, the person that asked the question if those fire is um, Warren Van Zydem. And he asked, the, uh, he asked a couple questions, which I answered. Um, if these things from the vehicles mod, which a link will be in the show description along with all the other mods I use, if they, if they shoot. Now, if you go into your vehicle... Is that how you spell vehicle? No, that's not how you spell vehicle. That is. You need to have the missiles and the bullets in your inventory for that player to shoot. Now, where's the missile? There's the missile. And that, that's what was going off. So there you, I'm, in the, I'm in the suit right now. And how you fire this... And it will cause damage. Well, the, the, the gun, which is the sneak key or the U key, will fire. You will harm animals and mobs. But as you can see here, it doesn't do anything to um, normal blocks. I got to fix that. That doesn't look good. The compressed... Uh, I will fix that. The missiles, on the other hand, I'm going to look up because I, I created some real bad damage. That's your E key. And that one's a dud. That one is going to go off in the future. <laughs> so <laughs> These will cause damage. They're like TNT. And that's it. That's how that works. And you climb out, and there he is. And I thought I got rid of him, because I wasn't going to cover that on this episode, but we're going to get rid of this. Because it's very, it's very, um, Robocop-ish. Come on, there we go. It's, it's very Robocop-ish to have that in our, um, our little, uh, Nice farming area. Take up these lines real quick. 
Is we want visitors. Yes, we do. Right into a tree. I'm gonna have to put some guardrails up, but not right now. So there you have it. There is a very quick look at building a basic building, the portacollis door, and look how I mean, look how dramatically this has all changed. Now I have to I have to put in. I'm gonna use compressed cobblestone for the parking area instead of concrete, but and this is all gonna get cleaned up. But just by using this from the castle mod, we have a working barn door, and it's gonna go into our little our factory setup for our juices, for apple juice, for whatever we want. There's gonna be a second floor here, and I'm gonna mimic the gray wood that I used in the main house for the second floor. And I'm going to carry the decorations, you know, the, the bracing and the um, arches there. So we, we have this really cool working door with a slot. It looks like it's sliding on a rail. And then we're going to have some stained glass up here. And for over here, I'm going to use stained glass on the outside to give it, to give it decoration. And it, may not be functional. Uh, there may be a window or two on this side. And I might carry the stained glass theme because this is what area you will see from the house. Check on our horses real quick. Hi, horsies. So if we're at the house, we the trees will block it but we still, we can see, we can see the farm. Yeah. So I think this area is turning out really cool. We're going to have some apple trees, some grapevines, clean this up a little bit more and really put some nice decorations on this. And we have a working, we have a working farm. So if there's anything else that you would like to see or we're, oh, I missed the door. <laughs> if there's anything else that you guys would like to see, uh, leave it in the show uh, comments. And we will, we will go from there. And I will finish this up in the next episode. But we have the basics of everything that um, is happening. Come back up to my little study. I really, really like this build, this property. I think I, it's just, it's turning out way better than uh, I expected. Just the style, the colors, it looks really, really good. So thank you again for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share, and uh, leave comments and questions. And you can also upload screenshots of your favorite builds uh, that you've done to my website, rgsproductions2005.com. And uh, everybody have a warm, safe week. Until the next video, goodbye.